Love that we have each other Bonjour mes amis. Bon après-midi. I think we are blank. All protocols observed. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Professor Mpazi Singela. I am Vice Chancellor for UNICAF, Zambia. For those of you who are students, look us up because we offer scholarships up to 85%. However, I'm not here for UNICAF. I'm here as board chairperson for the patents and trademark, or rather companies, registration agency. The Patents and Companies Registration Agency, otherwise, in short, PACRA, is very pleased to be part of the organizing, or indeed sponsors, for this important event. This conference has brought together researchers, scholars, innovators, entrepreneurs from international and national universities, industry, to showcase their research and innovations. Ladies and gentlemen, the conference is a valuable platform for researchers, academicians, innovators, <coughs> inventors, scientists, and practitioners to discuss contemporary issues shaping human development from a multidisciplinary approach. The conference has also provided an opportunity for graduating students to publish their bachelor's, master's, and PhD research papers. This is particularly important because our current paradigm in our universities continues to be research, publish, or perish. However, I want to put it to you but if we want to develop our country as academicians, as researchers, we should shift the paradigm from research, publish, or perish to research, patent, or perish. What we see currently is that there is a lot of research going on 
by students, by academicians themselves, by technical persons, then the question is, if there is so much research going on, why then is there not a corresponding match between the research and the number of patents being filed before? PACRA, there is a mismatch. And that's what we need to change in order to develop our country. What this really means is that in order for there to be this paradigm shift, our institutions must also adopt new policy. Instead of always emphasizing on publications, you cannot be promoted unless you have a number of publications. We should shift and say, you cannot, as an academician, particularly in the sciences, be promoted unless you can show and demonstrate how many patents you have filed before PACRA. I hear some mamas in the crowd, and we're going to put that policy in motion right away and see how many of you will become promoted to professors. The importance of protection of your research results is cardinal. We are all rushing to publish, but in so doing, we are destroying one of the most important principles for patentability namely disclosure. The moment you disclose your research results, the novelty dies. It's no longer new because, as you know, the principles for patentability require that the invention be new, never ever having been disclosed anywhere at all. Then there are other principles, such as inventive step, and so on and so forth. But however, because of the policies that we have currently, we are rushing to publish our research findings before protecting them. Consequentially, later on when you want to patent your research results, it's no longer new because you have disclosed it to the public and you lose. Okay, you may get the promotion, but you get your promotion on an empty pocket. What is the use of that promotion when you can still continue walking barefoot? Whereas, if you should patent your research results, number one, you stand a chance of making millions, if not billions, of dollars, not quachas, but dollars, and then also contributing to the national development of your country, my country, our country. So then, in order for us, for PACRA, to ensure that every researcher Every writer, every singer appreciates the value of protecting intellectual property. We at PACRA have embarked on a rigorous program which includes the revision of the national IP, rather intellectual property policy, this review of the intellectual property policy is really intended inter alia to encourage research by providing for a, a change in ownership. Because our universities will say, because you are researching, 
in our laboratories. Therefore, the outcome is mine. Instead of saying, you are researching in our university laboratories, let us share the outcome of the commercialization of the research results. This is why we at PACWA are encouraging the change of policy so that the researchers, the academic institutions, and the individuals who are doing the research can be able to what we call enjoy in the benefit sharing of the outcome of the commercialized patentable subject matter. Also, let me say this, that we have also been assisting universities to come forward, seek our assistance as PACRA to help them develop a university intellectual property policy so that as we help you, you can help yourselves by having a rigorous IP policy which encourages benefit sharing by the researcher and indeed the university concerned. We're very proud to inform this August body that we indeed assisted our sister institution, the Copper Belt University, in coming up with its IP policy. I'm sure they will speak for themselves. I know for sure that already this is bearing fruit because I was privy to assisting them review the licensing agreement between a company in the United Kingdom and the CBU to commercialize one of their inventions, whereby on the outset, the CBU would receive a certain amount of money in exchange for the use of this technology. And then annually, large amounts would start to flow to the CBU. I look forward to the day when the CBU would say to the government, excuse me, our government, I think it's now, if you've funded us enough, we are realizing enough revenue from our patents, and we no longer need your money. I'm sure that day is coming. Congratulations, CBU. Then also, what we are doing at PACRA is to allow you to come to PACRA and say, we would like to have, a, have, have an intellectual property syllabus in your university. We at PACRA will be more than delighted to help you fashion a syllabus. In fact, it would even be better that every university makes it compulsory, whether you're a scientist or in the humanities, that everyone goes through a training, a syllabus, a module in intellectual property relevant to your field. And PACRA is more than ready to assist you train some of your colleagues so that in, uh, in, in return, they can become the resource persons for intellectual property in your university. Let me not take too much time. I know you are behind time. But on behalf of PACRA, may I thank you sincerely for the organization of this absolutely incredible August conference. Thank you. that we have each other
the day I'll rise up in spite of the age. I will rise a thousand times again. And we'll 